Hey church, it's so good to be with you today. My name's Sarah, I'm the children's pastor at Audacious Church and I've got a few thoughts that I want to share with you today. Now I'm wondering if you've ever heard, and I'm sure you have, the infamous three words. Ready, steady, go! Well, if you love a good old competition or a game of hide and seek, you may have heard these words many times. And I was thinking back, I used to use these loads on my kids when they were little. They, how old are they now? 10, 12, and almost eight. And when it came to meal times, they were so busy playing. They didn't want to come for the food. They were either playing with each other or playing with their toys. And I'd often have to make, get into the table, a bit of a competition. Who could get to the table first? Ready, steady, go! And, you know, they would drop whatever they were doing. Things would go flying and they would race to the table to be crowned the champion. And I do have to confess, we didn't always wash our hands because I just wanted them to eat. And I know that is pretty scandalous at the moment, but um, this was a while ago. And, you know, I've never really considered myself a particular a sportsman. However, in year seven, I was the um, high jump champion for my year seven class. Um, so, you know, they didn't actually say ready, steady, go, but you know, the readiness within me was there in year seven. Uh, so that's my um, level of sportingness for you. And uh, I'm going to read a scripture for you now. And it's about the shepherds. And I love this. It's from Luke 2 verse 15. It says, when the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. Can you imagine if the shepherds had just gone, no, nah, that was an all right message, wasn't it? Mm, shall we go tomorrow? Or how about we get all the sheep sorted first, we'll have a good night's sleep and then we'll go. Can you imagine? The story could have been totally different. Similar, I was thinking back to um, King David and this was way before King David was king. Do you remember? He was the shepherd boy who fought Goliath. Well, before that, he was the shepherd boy and he was asked to go take food to his brothers on the battle lines. Can you imagine if his reply was, nah, why don't they come and get it themselves? Or, oh, it's not fair. Why am I always the one who has to do stuff for them? The Goliath story could have been totally different had David not been ready. And what I want to encourage us with today, church, is as we come to the end of 2021 and enter 2022, let's have a readiness about us, a readiness of heart to do and be who God has called us to be. And church, have a great 2022 and let's be filled with great hope and great expectation of what the Lord has got in store for us. Take care, church. Bye.